Yeah, the charge coming just days after a teen was killed in Cuesta, all from an accessible firearm. That's why one representative is now increasing awareness about the dangers and heartbroken relatives are all on board. For a Cuesta family, the time for justice is now. We're hoping that the law and the court system does not disappoint our family. Last Friday, a 13 year old girl was shot and killed by another teenager while hanging out at a home and listening to music. Police say it all happened after the suspect found his father's gun, but they still don't know the reason why. She's just, it's just a loss to, to our family, to the community, to humanity. I want them to know how much we are, we are feeling for them, how much sympathy we have for them, and that we are really sorry that this happened. It's a situation Representative Pamela Herndon always feared. That's why she and other legislators held past the Benny Hargrove bill earlier this year. The law now holds parents accountable if their gun isn't stored properly, especially if the child injures someone else. A crime William Brown, the father of the suspect, now faces. This is going to be the first time we've seen this used, I believe. Um, you've got a the father of the juvenile suspect charged with the felony level under Benny's law. A KOAT legal expert John Day says now it's going to be a focus on precautions, ones that were taken and others that were not. And so what we want to know in this case is how was that gun stored? Where was it kept? What precautions were taken? Because there's now this new state law and parents better know about it. In the meantime, Representative Herndon is gearing up to begin a 33 county tour with an emphasis on education, how the law works and how to safely store those guns. Something every parent should know. It's about your responsibility and keeping it safe. And so that's one thing we want to encourage. As for the victim's family, they're hoping to raise awareness in honor of her, either by creating an organization or by making safety locks for guns.